Hi, I'm David Fleming, and I want to welcome you to the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel, where we focus on Jesus, advance His kingdom, and prepare His disciples. Now, these videos that I'm creating are each less than five minutes long, and they're all geared to help you in your walk with Jesus. So I hope that you'll take five minutes out of your day and join us every day. Now, you may also be aware that I have written a three-book series on discipleship. It's titled Spirit-Filled Discipleship. Each book is full of biblical content to help you understand what discipleship is all about. And it's going to help you become a stronger disciple of Jesus. You can use it as an individual or you can use it in a group setting. It's a great resource for discipleship. So check it out on Amazon. Now, let's get on to our study on the life and ministry of David. For the past few videos, we've been looking at the last words of David that are found in 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 1 through 7. Now, yesterday, we looked at the revelation that David had concerning the Lord. It was awesome qualities that he just proclaimed for all of us to enjoy. Today, we're going to look at the qualities that the Lord said that he wanted to see in David. Let me read it to you. 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 3 and 4. The God of Israel spoke. The God of Israel said to me, when one rules over people in righteousness, when he rules in the fear of God, he is like the light of morning at sunshine on a cloudless morning, like the brightness after rain that brings forth the grass of the earth. So what are these three qualities that we find that, that the Lord was using David to speak forth that he really wanted to see in David? Well, number one, it was righteousness. God desired for David not only to have a heart after God, which David did, but to allow that to drive him, to compel him to be righteous himself. Now, we see as we have uh, studied in the life and ministry of David that David had some issues, as we all do. But as David sought after the Lord more and more, he became transformed into the image of the Lord himself. The Lord also mentioned that he desired for David to have the fear of God. Listen to this. He said, when, rule, when one rules over people in righteousness, when he rules in the fear of God, now what is the fear of God? That means that you know that God is not to be trifled with. He doesn't play games. Oh, no. If you've walked with Jesus for any time at all, you know that Jesus is into transforming our lives. And he also, in as we walk with him, if we choose to do wrong, even after we have been convicted not to do something, he will allow us to suffer the consequences of our own actions. That should produce within us a healthy fear of God. Like David, after David fell into adultery and he even uh, murdered Uriah the Hittite, uh, the Lord allowed David to suffer the consequences of his sin. And thereafter, it put in David a healthy fear of God. And then there is the light. The Lord said that he desired that David be like the light of the morning at sunrise on a uh, he is like the brightness after rain that brings forth the grass from the earth. You know who that sounds like? Sounds like Jesus. Jesus, the light of the world. But it's interesting that Jesus, after he proclaimed himself the light of the world, he turned to his disciples and said, you are the light of the world. And that's what the Lord wanted to see in David. And that, my friend, is what Jesus wants to see in every one of his disciples. He wants us to be, as he wanted David to be, full of his righteousness. He wants us to carry a healthy fear of God to keep us from messing up. And, and he wants us to be the light of the world, shining people to Jesus. Now, these are the Christ right qualities that the Lord wants to be, wanted to be in David. They weren't perfectly in David, but they are perfectly seen in the one that David represented, Jesus our Lord. And these are the same qualities that the Lord wants to be in every one of us, and they will be if we get serious about following Jesus with all we've got. Until tomorrow.